Nobody takes my ship. Ah. Uh, I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I'm good. Nobody takes my ship twice. Alright. Oh, wait. I gotta give you the full. How's it going? How's the audio? Is it good? Let me check. Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. Alright. I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> Thundering typhoons! Billions of blue blistering barnacles! That's all I got. Alright, thanks for coming to the stream. Bye. I'm no, just kidding. Okay. Uh. Maybe I'll just play some Dominion or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. Boom. I wish I could get the, uh, Tintin game on the Wii. I, I found that it exists recently, but um, I do not own it. I don't think I've. Uh, well, I didn't look uh, to see how easy it is to get, but it seems pretty weird, pretty obscure. Okay. Ooh, there we go. But if anyone has any better ideas, it's weird because, like, um, I want to stream, but I don't want to, I don't have any good ideas for my first stream after like months. There we go. Alright, what's going on here? Jeez, okay. That's the only village. So I could use a workshop to gain him. And that one did. I don't even know. Definitely gonna get sacrifice. Oh, this is a village. We're good. Just get tons of catacombs is what I need. Yeah, get a workshop. Yeah, this is good, because I can play any action as it. I guess I'll get a few of these. Oh, I should have gotten a silver instead. Silver. I 
Should I get another sacrifice? I could just keep piling up on these, honestly. I don't get a catacombs. I did that, my next turn's gonna be bad. Oh well. Oh, I guess not. Oh! I don't know why the chat's not syncing up, but hello, Disturbing King. I'm finally streaming again. way too long but thank you very much for showing up uh, and yeah how's it going how's your Halloween Eve <laughs> what do you think of my terrible Scottish accent <laughs> thundering typhoons Don't even try to lie to me. <laughs> Ooh, I thought of an idea. So, I was trying to think what game should I play that's Tintin themed. This game has like a, uh, not Tintin themed, but a, uh, boat, navy themed, I don't know what to call it, themed, uh, thing. Alright, uh... I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna... do that. So, I'll play a game with only those cards. I think I can set that up, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been streaming more. Uh, just like, the longer it got, the more pressure I put on myself to do uh, something unique for coming back. And so I guess I did something different. Uh, because I was going to do this anyway. Like on Halloween. Well, it's Halloween Eve, but... Yeah, I guess at a certain point I would just kind of stop thinking about it. So It wasn't like I was stressing out the whole time about this. There's other things that I'm stressing out about. Yeah. There you go, I added that. <laughs> Alright, do I want this? Sure. Because, uh, gets me to five. Should I buy another sacrifice? I think so. All the catacombs. Give me all the catacombs. Yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb, because it's like... When is that sound effect from? It's like from Vines, but it's like... I don't know, the 20... Early 2010s, I guess. Alright. Um, what should I do here? I think I'm just going to keep trashing stuff. Boom. Get all the catacombs. But yeah, uh, but it's still funny. Like, some things just never get old. Uh. And I've got another one. So if I win, I'll use that other effect. I need to get me some money soon. So he's getting up to like seven money. Kind of worrying. I, I've got a good hand coming. Cause look at this. This horse, you gotta return it anyway. And this one, you can trash a action and get two cards and two actions, which is really nice. And so I get two cards and two actions instead of two cards, one action. 
It's like doesn't seem that much better, but it is much better because then you can play like two more. All right, and this one. Oh, discard it. Okay, good. And then this one will play as the ox to just get two actions, but we don't draw any cards, which is kind of bad. All right, and this one. Sure, we'll put that in hand. This one. Yes. And now we are drawing the entire deck here. And so I have perfect. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight. I'm actually going to use sacrifice on a copper instead of the estate, so that I have nine. Um, and then workshop. Wait, disturbing king. Have you played this game? Uh, and then I want to gain something. I guess I'll gain a black cat. Why not? And then I'll get a platinum. Is there a plus buy? Only buying that is plus buy. Yeah, it is like Magic the Gathering. I haven't played Magic the Gathering. Um, but it's also a deck building type game. I think the difference is this one has a lot more basic mechanics when you play the base game. And then you can add expansions. Really? Magic is RNG or this one? Because this one's not... I'd say it's about 30% RNG. So that, or like maybe a little more than that. 40%. Oh, magic is all RNG. Dang. Because like this most skilled players in, this one's called Dominion. And Dominion uh, are able to um, like consistently win. Uh, and you know, this if there's someone almost as skilled, they can get lucky and win. That kind of stuff. Ooh, I can trash for free. I think I will. Yeah, he played that as the bishop. Which is terrible, because it allows the other player to trash. Um, so it's like, why would you do that? Also, if you trash a catacombs, you get a cheaper card. So I could do that at some point. Uh, but either way, I'm not going to do it yet. I need to draw. Sure. Ooh. Actually, I will do it now. Because... I don't want to play it as an ox, it's kind of lame. What would I want as a cheaper card? I guess a bishop? Start getting more points? Sure, I'll get a bishop. Uh, yep, put it in hand. Draw three more, uh, yep. Um... Oh, I thought I had another workshop, or another catacombs. Welp. Five, six, seven, uh, eleven. So, I could gain a four. I think I'll do this, though. Yeah, that just seems better. And then, what are these two? Shoot, is that another black cat and a... <laughs> this isn't chess. Sorry, I zoned out for a second. Dang, I gotta fix that chat connection thing. Oh, it's probably the API key. They reset it with the leak. That's what it probably is. Okay, I'll fix that. Um, fix that off stream. All right, I want to sacrifice the estate, I guess. Yeah, because these are good to top deck. Okay, sacrifice the estate. It's a bishop and a catacombs, I think. And I'll just buy a colony. Why not? Oh, no. <laughs> The black cat effect. So I got one curse from that. But I'll bishop the curse. Sacrificing the curse isn't good because it doesn't give you anything. The effect, the type there. What do we have in common with chess in this game? There's a card called the pawn. There's knights. There's the bishop, obviously. Um. There's no king, but there's a king's court. Uh, there's different types of castles, but they don't call it rooks. Uh, yeah. That's about it.
Yeah, there you go. Shoot, what did I not cover? Just, I guess, the king. Also, why doesn't chess have a jester, you know? That's a card in this game. Another crazy thing you can do is start bishoping these colonies. May trash? No thanks. So what do I get? Plus one and then half. So that's six. So I'm only losing six points, but I'm getting rid of a junk card from my hand. Uh, discard that. Perfect. Discard that. Oh, my catacombs. That's the cool part about catacombs. They give you so much uh, choice. And... Mm, discard. I want to trash that curse, and I don't think I'll be able to draw anymore. So, put it in hand. Now, I want more actions. I need to play three things. I can't. So, I can only play two. Unless I trash with the sacrifice. Hmm. Five, six, seven. That's not great. Eight. Shoot, I should have not done that. That's fine, actually. Just do this and hope I draw a an action card. Okay, good. So I'll just play this as an ox. And I'll bishop this. 5, 6, 79. I can get 10. Whatever, I'll get 10. I'll buy another platinum. I guess. Oh, I have a silver. Oh, also, with this game, why am I not... Um, oh, right, because of the serene size. I was going to say, I could put my camera down here. But with this new laptop, it's got a 3 to 2 screen ratio. So, Alright. What did my opponent even do last time? Okay, buying platinums. I didn't need to pay more attention to that. He's got a gold. I wonder if YouTube reset their stream keys and stuff, because it couldn't like go live on YouTube as well, so I'm I'm curious. That's fine. I'll figure it all out after this. Forgot how to stream. Oh, I could get um next time I have ten, I could get forum and catacombs. That would be actually a good purchase. And hopefully he'll buy a victory card and I can play this. Distribute a curse. Man, why are you taking so long? What's going on? Let me get my mouse pad. It's my mouse is all. Okay, Bishop. I will trash indeed. Boom. Thank you very much. Man, that mouse pad is not working. React to that. Awesome. So I have to play this as an ox. That way I have a turn, basically. Perfect. Oh, uh, that's good enough. That's also great. Now. Colony. Okay, so I'm two behind. Yeah, okay. Go on with this. Um, F. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I'll put that in hand. But there's probably... Yeah, I'll put that in hand. Because I don't want to shuffle. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 if I can play both of those. Should I draw these last two? I think so. Yes. It was worth it. So I get to trash two coppers. And have way more than enough um, to buy. Oh, I could have bought a forum for free. Well, no take backs. That was to manipulate the RNG. That's what it was. Okay, this is actually looking pretty bad here. Unless the uh, buys a victory card, and I can react these, which will probably happen actually. So should be good. And my opponent's kind of slow. I get it, like, most people playing Dominion, they take their time. But when you're online... Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, when you're online, you gotta go fast. People are impatient. Come on. Legendary cards? Uh, It's not how it works. Actually, there are some that are like that, where you have to upgrade your cards and get um, the legendary version of the card so every set is randomized like there's hundreds of these cards that could come up so each game is a whole different strategy um, and then there's a bunch of these events landmarks whatever um, non card cards that can come up as well um, and so yeah, within that, there's two different uh, upgrade-type cards. I don't know what to call them. Okay, well, thanks for not buying a victory card. I guess I will... I'll do this. Dang it, I should have done the other way. It's fine. I'll be able to buy a colony. This workshop has kind of outlived its uh, usefulness. And I need to catch up in points. Actually, I don't, because you didn't buy a colony last time. And you only have one buy per turn. Usually there's a card that'll give you a plus buy. But... Alright. Now the question is... So there's four left, not yet. But eventually I'll start trashing these catacombs with my sacrifice and gaining... Well, actually I don't know if I, there's anything worth gaining. So maybe I won't. I could gain an estate, but like... Maybe I'll start trashing the black cats with sacrifice. Wow, this is a very Halloween-themed game. <laughs> if only there was a way to get horses other than this. Other than the other player giving you them. Okay. No trash here. You know, I could sacrifice a sacrifice. We'll see. Okay, you gotta buy it. Yeah! Oh, I get to react them all. Oh boy. Should I sacrifice the sacrifice? I think I should. No, I shouldn't. Because I'm going to be able to get to 11 most likely without it. Discard. Mmm. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, and that's the last one. So now I just have tons of actions. I think I'll trash this silver. Although I gotta be real careful, actually, that I have enough money to buy stuff. Yeah. Um, 
I think I'll actually bishop to sacrifice instead. Sacrifice. Oh, I'll bishop to silver instead. And I've got to play bishop every turn to have 11, but I should be able to. Yeah. Because I can bishop colonies if it comes down to it. Boom. That's all you need. Just enough money to buy one and a ton of draw cards. Um, draw and action stuff, but yeah, way to draw all your cards. It's called the engine. The engine deck. Power? That's not a thing in this game. Oh, alright. Yeah, because you can only buy one card per turn in this set, so. GG. Okay, I want to set up a, uh, how do I do this with matching? Do I need to set up my favorite cards? Card lists. Cards you like. We'll remove that. We'll get all these, uh. Oh, we'll just click on them here. All the seaside cards. Can we just click on them all? Or are we limited to a certain number? What are these? Oh, unlimited to five, plus the sideways ones. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I need to make... Because I've been thinking, I want to make a game like Dominion. Um, but it's already so good. I just need to add power to it, and it'll be better. That's, like, actually, like, calling something power just, you know. All right, we'll go with Worf. Uh, I don't know, what's some other? Fishing Village, Ghost Ship. Um, Haven. Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship's not actually that good of a card is the problem. Salvager. Go with Salvager. Or Smugglers. That's a fun one. There we go. Banned cards. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, I already dislike Ghost Ship. Yeah, I actually... It's a annoying card. It's so good that everyone has to buy it, and then the game becomes, like, boring. Merchant Ship instead. There we go. So I'm not guaranteed these cards. But we got something. Oh, we didn't get any of them. But we got Tactician. That's a seaside one. Oh, we got a Commerce. What is this? Never had this one. They're always coming out with new expansions. Uh, gain a gold per differently named card you've gained. Gaining victory cards early is good. Okay. This is a crazy game. Uh, we want these Grand Markets. Don't know what we want as far as Fiatums. Ooh, if we trash a Fiatum, we get three silvers, and then we buy this, we get three golds. That's something crazy. So imagine we get Tactician so we can actually get our Fiatum colliding with, like, a chapel or something. We buy Fiatums for the battlefield. Yeah, Fiatum Chapel. Oh, but I get five, too. So you start out with seven coppers. So if I get two here, obviously buying a chapel, it's just a really good card. And I have five. I could buy a Tactician, or I could just buy a Fiatum. It's tough. It's tough. I think I gotta go with the Tactician. And then I'll start buying Fiatums after. Alright, great turn here. I just didn't want my Tactician and Chapel to be colliding in the same turn. So I'm basically giving up this turn to have a better next turn. Oh, I'm only drawing two, though. That's terrible. Shouldn't have bought that. Now I need to buy the Fiatum. Perfect. Um, I'm going to Tactician. Buy a copper, that'll give me five to spend. Yep. 
This is perfect. I'm going to chapel just the Fiatum, get three silvers, buy commerce, get three golds. This is insane. <laughs> oh, it's differently named cards. Ah, at least I got one gold. That's fine. I was expecting three golds. Scammed. Alright, I'm going to play the Tactician again. Yeah, Tactician is probably a bad choice, but at least it helps me collide my Fiatum with my Chapel. Um, but I don't have any more Fiatums. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, I'm going to be buying an Expand Fiatum, I think. Ooh, 3. So if I trash that, I got 1. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, I need 11, so I'll just trash. Oh, I can only trash 4. Oh. Uh, 3, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Yep. Boom. I'm getting these points too. Every time I buy a victory card, I'm just getting points. So I think I'll buy an estate here just for the points. Ah, uh, the grand markets. I'll be buying those next. Forgot about those. Okay. We'll be playing the tactician. I think I'm done gaining silvers. I've got way too many silvers. That's the downside of this strategy. But I'll be drawing my entire deck. Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic. Because of that tactician. Um, and I'll hopefully be getting a lot of these points. Alright, so I've got six silvers. This is worth one per three silver, so it's only worth two. So it's not really worth going for. I'll trash the estate with the chapel. Turn this into a grand market. Yeah. Boom. Five, that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, that's two more grand markets. Or three Fiatums to get the last three battlefield points. That's too tempting. Oh, I can't get three. I can only buy two things. Yep, two grand markets. Or a grand market and a fairgrounds. Yeah, we gotta get those battlefield points. Like, I don't know why you haven't gotten, like, one estate here and there just to help yourself get a few points, but whatever. Suppose you're doing pretty well. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, dang. There's only one grand market left. Alright, yeah. Maybe I did not, uh, maybe I didn't think about that very much. These are worth four. I guess I have ten differently named cards. That's nice. So they're definitely better than Fiatums. Oh, nice. Boom. And should I get a Fiatum? Probably not. What do I even want? I guess a watchtower? Ugh. Yeah. I could get a watchtower. Um. No. Silver? No. I guess I'll just get a feed him for the points. Gross, it's only worth that many points. That was a mistake. It's fine. I'll have a great turn this turn. Oh, I should definitely buy a watchtower for the fairgrounds. For all these differently named cards, yeah. So I need to get to 15 on this. And I've got 10 right now, apparently. Two provinces. Three provinces. Uh oh. It's all good. I'm going for the fairgrounds. Work smart, not hard. Okay. I've got to expand, I think, a silver. I don't want to get rid of the. You don't. Okay, let me think about this. 679. Uh, there you go. You have so many good ideas. Bronze. I just uh, create Dominion, but I add bronze, and then it's a new game. Totally distinct. Okay. I think I'm just going to keep getting fairgrounds. I'm not going 
going to trash anything here. Yeah, and I do need the Feodum to keep powering my things. That's 12, and then a Watchtower. Yep, and I could get a Copper. So what do I've got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, it's only 9. So I have four fairgrounds. I'm confused. What's the tenth card? Whatever. Uh, I'm getting a copper. Oh, nice. There we go. That bumped me up. So now I don't need to buy any more types. I just need these two fairgrounds and to end the game as quickly as possible. I could upgrade the chapel to a duchy. That would not bring me down in number of types, but it would keep me uh, scoring points. Okay. Um, two, three. Alright, so seven. I'll just do that. Yeah, perfect. Um, fairgrounds and what? Feed them. Give me one point. Better than an estate. And I, oh, I could have gotten two estates. Whatever. Jeez, this is bad. Got a fairgrounds and an estate, I guess. Oh, I want to be piling these out. Shoot. I think I'm not going to do anything and just buy a feed them there. Jeez. Okay, tactician time. So if I were to make a knockoff of Dominion, what should I call it? Oh, geez. Okay, can I get fairgrounds and three Fiatims in one turn? I don't know. It's not going to be this turn. So you get one more turn before I go. <sighs> Alright. Yes. Alright. It's time for me to win. Uh oh. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I buy two provinces, I would win, right? can't though. Uh, fairgrounds though, that's worth... Yeah, okay, this is so frustrating. Three, four, five, six, okay. Can I trash Watchtower into fairgrounds? But then I won't have enough types? I'll just buy an extra curse. No, but I won't have enough money for that. Jeez, this is so annoying. If I trash Feodum into fairgrounds, that's what I need to do. Um, yes. And now, uh, I just have to buy three, four, five, six, wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, buy two Feedums, and there were two each. Ooh. Woo! Clutched it out there, winning by one point. Domination. I think that's already a card. No, Dominate is a card. But, like, that might actually be too close. But anyways, I'm the best at this game. I am, uh, too OP. No, that was actually, like, I did not deserve to win that. So this time we've got these things instead of estates. Happens sometimes. So, for two, I can't even get anything. Great. Fairgrounds. That's awesome. Because we've got these, uh, 
Well, they're gone now. These things are differently named. So I get a lot more points for that. Okay, for five. This one's pretty good. This is good. Villagers, they're like plus actions, but you use whenever. I think I'll just get this. Uh, but then I... This is probably much better. Yeah. Hopefully I can buy this next. And Bounty Hunter is going to be OP. There we go. Perfect. Then maybe I'll buy Pageant. Or I'll probably buy Bounty Hunter. I'll buy Pageant. Next turn I'll buy Bounty Hunter. Yeah, perfect. Because now I get to store up my money uh, and I can use it later. Same with the villagers. Okay. I think I just need more. Uh, oh, I could get a hideout to trash things. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Because this guy will exile things, which doesn't trash them. Uh, just moves them to the side. This guy will trash coppers, which is great. I might want a diplomat. We'll see. Uh, exile this one or this one. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to trash either one. So. Okay, and then I'll use a villager up to do that. Seems worthwhile. Should I get a province? Should I get a villa to get more buys? Six, five. No, I'll just get a fairgrounds and store up a uh, coffer. Or a gold, maybe. Get a gold and store up a coffer. There we go. Should have gotten another scholar instead, actually. Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Summon death and it's to kill your opponent. There is a card called summon, but there's no card called death. So you can almost do that. If summon was on here, I could summon a diplomat. <laughs> a lot less exciting. Death by bureaucracy. There's actually a bureaucrat. Yeah, I could summon a bureaucrat. That would be worse than death. Ooh, perfect. Here we go. Get to trash. And play. Okay, okay. Yep, and I'm uh, getting a fairgrounds, storing a coffer. Perfect. So that fairground's only worth two right now. But um, I just need to buy more stuff. Probably another scholar to get my turns moving. A bunch of iron mongers would be nice, but I don't think I can afford that. I can have the buys and stuff. I could get duplicate. That's like the worst. Cause <laughs> well, I could get two fairgrounds up for one. Okay, buying golds. Buying a pageant and a gold. Interesting. Didn't have the pageant yet, I see. I think I need more scholars. Yeah. Okay, this is great. Hideout, trash that. Bounty under, exile that. Scholar, get a new start. I haven't played that much with scholars, so I'm just still figuring it out. I did not need that. <laughs> Why did I buy it? I will get myself a villa for the extra buy. Um, and then I don't need this, but hey, just for fun. Um, and then I'll just buy a fairgrounds, I guess. Or maybe another gold. 
I got a fairgrounds. Ah, uh, actually. Shoot, what am I doing? Maybe just a province? No, I'll get a gold now. Then I'll get a province and I can start exiling that and other stuff. Okay, yeah. Hideout, villa, trash. Scholar. Yeah, this is great because I get the plus buy now. Alright, this is a suboptimal, my order that I did things, but whatever. I think I need Diplomat and Ironmonger to draw a little more cards. So I'm good on actions. I'm good on plus actions, but you know, this might give me some. And I need more villas, surprisingly. Just for the plus buy. Yep. And there we go. Uh, exile a fairgrounds, I suppose. Perfect. And do that. Scholar is great, actually, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Two buys and 13. I think I want a villa, fairgrounds, and diplomat. Yeah. Because villa costs four, but it gives you one back, so it's three. It's like a weird one. It goes, it brings you back. Okay, uh, fairgrounds, just keep going on those. And you know what? I will discard it from exile, so I can exile it again for more points, or more money. And then a diplomat. Get that card, unique card count up. But yeah, so now I've got these junking up my hand, but at least I get three money from it from this. So my exile just has those three. So now I can exile fairgrounds, copper. I'll be buying a province soon, I'll exile that. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep buying fairgrounds till they're gone and then all this. Because like I've got three things. The these three. Then we got four. I don't have a silver yet. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20. You can get up to 20 if you buy a curse and everything else. Do you already buy a curse? Why do you have a, Where's the curse? What, what are you undoing? What? Trash is a, a curse. Oh, when you trash a victory card, you get a curse? That happened. I see. Your fairgrounds will never be worth that because you've trashed some of your stuff. Alright. Gotta be really careful here. I can't play this hideout, can I? Dang. Or I can, I just have to trash something I don't want to trash. I'm gonna have to do it. Yep, it was worth it. I'm gonna have to trash this villa. instead. There we go. Guess I'll buy back the villa. And <laughs> and then another fairgrounds and a duplicate. Which I should have gotten a long time ago. Oh well. Or should I use these and do a province? Yeah, I'll do a province. And a duplicate. I want to be consistent instead of trying to go for extra stuff. <laughs> Dink, Rick, Krat. Hold on one second, let me pull up an image. Oh, it's on full screen. Oh, let me play my turn, then I'll show you. Uh, keep that. It doesn't matter. Dang it. I need a scholar. Okay. Uh, boom. What the heck? There we go. Here's what he looks like. So, if you can make this guy dank, I don't know, turn him into Pepe or something. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, okay. So I get
save these villagers so I can play extra actions. So I have copper there. Bounty hunter this. Do that. Perfect. Alright. Uh, I think I just need uh, more uniques. So I've got province, gold. I don't have duchy or silver, so that's eight. Or estate, but those are all ones that don't help me. I'll get a warehouse. So I have three buys, I'll get three uniques. Warehouse, cut purse. That one doesn't really help me. Uh, that's fine. Warehouse, cut purse, and duplicate, I guess. Yeah. Save a coffer. So now I've got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so now I need duchy, estate, silver, and curse, and then my fairgrounds will be crazy, but I can get those any time before the game ends. Duchy, estate, silver, curse, and I need all the fairgrounds, I need the rest. <laughs> Can you get a drip? Is there a drip card? Yeah, we need to make meme uh, dominion. Dank minion. I don't know. Okay, what are we doing here? We're going to play the diplomat. I don't need the uh, hideout. I'm going to play the diplomat. We get the actions. I'm going to do that. Should I bounty hunter or a scholar? Why not? Because then I can buy it back. Because it gives me three of the money, yeah. All right. So I can trash this last copper. I mean, I should have played the ironmonger first. Oh well. Cut purse. The silver. Ooh, okay. So that's a province, but nothing better. Boom, boom. All right. Um, should just be two of these. Oh, three. Three buys. Okay, so two of those and a curse. Yeah. Call duplicate, yeah. That and a curse. So now I need duchy, estate, and silver next. Because all you can do is a province. I know the game wasn't ending. All right, sick. Ooh, okay. What are we doing? Scholar, I need to keep. That, that, that. Don't need those. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna bounty hunt this hideout. Put the duplicate on the map. Boom. Cut purse. I don't know what that last card is. Anyways, Duchy, Estate, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, but I have 13, so I'll just get fairgrounds as well. I'll duplicate. Continue. Duchy Estate. Now I just need silver, fairgrounds, and end game. End the game somehow. Me minion. Yeah. That would be fun. I remember there's certain restrictions on that kind of naming. Like, you know, Arduinos, like the microcontroller, you can't name something. Uh, Arduino something, but you can name something something Duino. Like you can, it's kind of weird. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna be able to bounty hunt something? Oh, I forgot to buy the scholar to discard it. I'm dumb. Either way, game's about to end. I don't care about that. Oh, three piles. Is there a low pile as well? Here, villas could end. Because you can just buy them all and play them and buy them and play them. Um, so that could be good. Oh, I'm off center. Yeah. Okay, fairgrounds and duchy. So you got the last fairgrounds. Sad. But I just need a silver and now my fairgrounds will be worth a lot. Oh, I'll just exile this duchy. Perfect. Villa, duplicate, 
Scholar. Ironmonger. Boom. Can I just buy the last two provinces and silver? Yeah. Boom! Whatever. GG. That was a landslide victory. <laughs> 69 D4 NK Dank Slayer 420. I could name the uh, the game that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Dominion is just because of the fantasy theme. <laughs> well, wait a minute. How does it have to do with Dominion? I can name it that. I could. I could. I don't know if I have the bravery to do it. <laughs> Time is it? Oh shoot! I thought. I think there's an event starting soon. Yes. Yeah, my family. What's happening? It's like a Halloween parade in my neighborhood. Oh, I lost the group chat instead. My family's so cool, we have a, a group chat. It's on Signal. The encrypted messenger. Boom. Oh, the microcontrollers. Uh, it's just like a weird naming thing. Uh, I don't even know how to find this, but... Arduino clones. Oh, that's not gonna work. Whatever. I'll just click on it. Okay. About or like FAQ or something. Don't know. Okay. What about the naming? I have no idea. You can definitely use it in your project and stuff. Um, it's really cool because it's all open hardware and stuff. It was like one of the first ones to do that. But the naming is the one thing that they've got to keep separate so people don't get confused. And so it's really, uh, you can do whatever you want. But like, I don't know. Is this a clone? No, that's a real one. I think. Yeah, there's the real ones. Clones and derivatives. There we go. So there's a lot of derivative ones. It's great. It's, uh, it's a good thing. It helps everyone get... Uh, oh, chat pause. Oh, okay. okay. I had scrolled up and then down, but it didn't keep... But yeah, they're all open source, open hardware. Anyways, oh, I a person left. I'll do one more game. I don't know, they haven't replied to me. So I'll do one more game and then I'll go ask them what the deal is. Hey, there's summon! You don't have the bureaucrat. We can summon the oracle. That'll be fun. And this banish. That one's a spooky one. Kind of. Oh dang, this is a tough board. We got Torturer and Witch. Halloween themed, as usual. Ooh, Secret Passage. Lost City. Patrol is a really good card. Alright, what do I got? I got 3, 4. Okay, I'm gonna buy an Oracle, I guess. Or a Silver. I'll buy a Silver. And I'll buy a Passage. Or a Banish. I'll buy a Banish. No, but Patrol... So I could exile one estate for the banish. I think that might be worth it. And then the crazy thing is I think torturers are better than witches. The witch, you draw two cards, everyone gains a curse, everyone else. The torturer, you get three cards, which is better, and everyone has to make a choice, discard two cards or gain a curse into your hand. So, it kind of like, you play multiple of them and it kind of squeezes the, them, like, gotta make this choice, you know? 
and there's no way to trash the curses. So you're more inclined to take the discard, which hurts you right then. So it like, and then you play a second one, and they're like, ah, oh, now I gotta discard again, or gain the curse anyway, you know. And I get, meanwhile, I get three cards each time, so. I think I'm gonna buy these instead. I might buy one witch, but probably the torturer. And then when the curses run out, the witch is just a lame card that gives you two. Torturer gives you three, and they just don't have to do anything, because they choose gain a curse, and nothing happens, because they don't have any curses left. Uh, I can make this full screen again. So Torturer seems better. Lost City is pretty crazy. Um, two cards, two actions. You do have to give them a uh, card one time, just when you buy it. And Patrol is really good. You get three cards, but you could get up to four more, depending if they're victory cards. Or curses, too. So that's really good here. That's why Banish not quite as good. I'd rather do it later on, once I've drawn a bunch of victory in my hand. And yeah, there's no way to trash, so you can only banish the curses, which means you uh, put them in your side thingy, exile, but you still have the negative points. Alright, anyways, what you gonna do? I guess I'll keep keep strategizing. Summon, that one's kind of garbage here, because uh, if you have five, you want to buy a torture instead. Seer, eh, that's not too good, not with the curses floating around. So I'll buy Silver and Passage, I guess. Then I'll be wanting to buy Border Village, Torturer, um, or just Torturer, and then later on Border Village, Lost City. It's all about balancing your draw cards and your villages. itching. Alright, I guess my comp opponent's taking a long time. I will be right back. With my luck, they'll be done, like, waiting for me. Dang. I'll play it against a bot. How about that? That's what you can do if someone uh, takes 10 minutes to make the first move. You can kick them and then you continue with bots. Alright. I just wanted to play this board. Come on. Okay. Buying an Oracle. The opponent is. Secret Passage. We'll put this on the bottom or on the top. And then we'll buy another silver. Boom, boom. Perfect. Border Village Torture. Secret Passage. We got five. So I'll put that on the bottom. Let's buy another Torture. Discard two. Five. I've already got too many terminals. I'll buy a Lost City. Okay. 
So that's great. Put that on the top. Border Village Torture. Just gonna see a common theme here happening. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll go for one more. Is there plus buy? There's no plus buy. Secret passage. That's rough. Because I'm going to be drawing it back. Oh well. Oh, Lost City. Wait, doesn't the AI always discard? Yeah, so I'm just like denying the AI any turn whatsoever. So I just got to keep doing that. Um, I will actually buy a Banish here. Yeah. Let me undo, and I'll buy a banish for the or the coppers. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of insane. Boom, and then they get no turn because I kind of denied their turn, and we're in business. Nothing, nothing I can do about it. Secret passage, top deck that. Buy another banish, why not? <laughs> I get infinite turns. Yeah, this is why the AI sucks. They should be gaining curses. Like, it's better than having no turn. Okay, one card. Zero cards. Top deck that. End actions. And I need a gold. Or just a vault. Order village vault. Uh, yeah, that gets me some money. It doesn't even matter if I top deck stuff. Okay, vault. Yeah. Hit so much money with the vault. Oh, I'm dumb. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I just made my next turn as bad as it could be, and it's still gonna be great. Banish is actually really good. Like, <laughs> I just got rid of all my starting cards. Replaced them with the better... Uh, better cards there. I'll top deck that, I guess. Now I just gotta buy all the provinces. And I'll be banishing them as I go. Oh, what? I'm dumb. I'm gonna undo that. This is this is stupid. Why am I still playing this? <laughs> there we go. Uh boom. Boom. Alright, it's time for a banish, I think. Is it though? I'll buy one more. Okay, I'll just, uh, banish. Boom. I don't know why I'm still playing this. Doesn't matter what I do. I will still be able to buy everything. Top deck. Boom. Spam click, spam click. Done. See, bots are dumb. That's the problem. Alright, let's check my rating. Ooh! That's the highest I've ever been. I've uh, gotten to 50 before. It's 50 level. 
and uh, top 2,000, but now I'm top 1,900. <laughs> I've got up to one. Look at this. Like, this is insane. So I watch this person's videos. They make videos. Um, the other players don't, I don't think they do very much. Um, I've seen some other people, but like, this is probably the highest rated player that makes videos. And also the person who makes the most videos on Dominion. So it's pretty good. So like, Wandering Winder. Oh, there's a new video. I'm not going to, uh, sto yoink the content, but, uh, let's just look at the board and see what it is. And I'll stop there. So, like, Yeah, he'll go through all his strategy and process. It's really useful. Like, it's helped me get a lot better. Um, but the first thing I did to get better was watch tutorials on how to get better at Dominion and learning about the engine and all that. But then after I knew the basics, um, Wandering Render goes into depth on all the nuance on specific sets and all that, just during normal actual games. Um, assuming that you know all the stuff about the engine and all that. So, like... Seahag and Recruiter. So Seahag gives the other player a curse. That's obviously very important. Uh, Recruiter trashes a card, and so it can trash the curses. Uh, <laughs> I do not. Now you don't have to worry about it. Don't even. Don't bother learning yet another complicated game. Like, uh, yeah, I'm just glad you're here to hang out. Um, and if you know Magic, this is pretty uh, pretty similar. And yeah, you have to. <laughs> you have to be here contractually obligated listen if I uh, if I become a big streamer I'll pay you <laughs> wait uh, I've got uh, 470 views wow oh it's on full screen I actually do but the problem is it's uh why does it do that there we go 470 views it's all time that's not bad uh so, shoot, maybe I have to pay you because I'm already popular. <laughs> I don't know. The contract of homie. <laughs> I, what did you sign? I don't know how that works. Um. So anyway, yeah, Sea Hag Recruiter. So villagers, those are crazy because normally you have to like figure out your plus actions and get enough. But if you just get a bunch of villagers, those give you plus one action whenever you want it. Like you can just use them whenever. I see, I see. Um, and so, yeah, like, once you get enough villagers, all you need is just draw cards. So you can buy, like, the nobles or any th card with plus three cards or plus two cards. This one doesn't really draw you because you have to trash one after drawing, so it's kind of deceptive, that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like, later on, he'll probably, like, be buying a bunch of recruiters, or, uh, like, one or two recruiters and a bunch of nobles uh, after having with the sea egg. Why is it not loading now? Is the stream still up? I'm just going to reload the page. Yeah, the internet's still on. And so, like, here's the log and all that. Like, oh, you've got three recruiters. Wow. I was expecting just two, but um, you can see these villagers here. He's got three villagers. He's been trashing just, um, let's see, pawn. Trashing recruiter with recruiter, so you get five of them. So you can just power your whole engine with that, just buy that, and that's your actions for the whole game. Um, and obviously, the sea hag is not too useful now that the curses are gone, uh, so you can trash that with the recruiter and stuff like that. And also, just uh, when you don't need more villages, you trash the villagers, you trash the coppers. So yeah, you keep going like that, and that's like a weird type of engine. There, yeah, there come the nobles. But yeah, like, he puts it, uh, lays it out in such a straightforward way that it's like, huh, I could get to this level if I actually, like, paid attention to the nuance. Because sometimes I'll, I'll uh, make a decision and then at the end of the game I'll be like, okay, I shouldn't have bought that card at that time. 
or I should have timed it differently. That's the kind of level that I'm at of trying to figure that stuff out. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah. Anyway, um, they have not responded about the event. I don't know what's going on. Oh. So, I'll play one more game. Commerce again. It's a differently named card. Uh, and it's gold even good here. Ooh, du Duke. Uh, Duchy. So if you get three Dukes, uh, your Duchy has become worth six. So you just get a discount. So it's really a, a good card. Exile gold from the supply. Ooh, Scrying Pool. This is a very complicated game right here. This one you need a potion card, so is it worth getting? Probably, actually. And ignoring the golds and stuff. Because these go away after a bit. Yeah, those are good. Definitely going to get one of these. Try to get a potion, though. Probably. Yeah. And I want dukes, though. That's the problem. And there's no trashing? Yeah, oh, there's, there's exiling. Okay. So yeah, I've got a feeling of getting that and a potion. I'll be exiling stuff. That way this one can hit. It's kind of... This one's a lot of text, but once you start playing with uh, that one, it's, it makes sense. I'll buy another one of these and one of these. Boom. So that goes away. It's in my exile. But when I buy it back, I get to discard it from exile. So now I've got two of them. Alright, what's going on here? I would have just buy an advisor, I guess, or a caravan. Which one's better first? I actually don't know. I think advisor. I don't know. They both give you two cards, uh, eventually, just in different ways. Ooh, do I want the golds? Probably not. I probably just want to play it. So. And I've got seven to spend. Should I start buying dukes yet? It's like, I haven't done it in a way that's conducive to buying dukes. But then I want to, I want a sanctuary first. Yep. I'll get sanctuary, pearl diver, I guess. Ah, oh, shoot, I should have bought Stockpile back. Whatever, I'll buy it next time. I'm dumb. Stockpile the only plus buy? No, this one's a plus buy. Alright, so here's how this works. I play it. I can discard that. Um, you discard that. Now I get to draw until I find non-action. I should top deck that and then that's fine. Alright, and then boom, exile that. I get a plus buy. Scrying pool, obviously stockpile, get me my money back. So it's probably sanctuary stockpile. Jeez, it's getting low. Oh, is this thing happening? All right, I'll be out in a few minutes and playing Dominion. All right, obviously gotta get that. Gotta get one of these, I think. I'll just get the last two. Deny it from him. Uh, his exile was empty. Discard that. So your opponent gets to choose. So you get two crafty cards. They get them now as opposed to next turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want more sanctuaries and more caravans, advisors. Play this first. I'll leave that on the bottom. Discard that. You top deck that. Oh, okay. Keep that. You can top that. Discard that. You can top deck that. <sighs> okay, I'll just do more sanctuaries. It's rough. Alright, what are you going to get me? Probably to give me the stockpile. Yep. I think I'll just spend one stockpile and get this. That's it. Unfortunate. I'm not sure that my strategy is good, just because these sanctuaries are really slow at exiling. It's just one at a time. 
Uh, so I need more of them. I can keep going, and then I'll start buying duchies and exiling them. But I probably might have just gone for skip the scrying pool um, and just keep exiling um, uh, a few things and then buy duchies. Or actually, I don't even need sanctuary. I don't know. Yeah, just go to Like, just skip the scrying pool strategy and go for the duchy duke with money and commerce, maybe. I don't even know. Stockpile. Commerce, Duchy Duke. Yeah, I don't know. But now I just need a ton more different cards to get this all to work, and it's kind of dubious. So hopefully I can buy the last scrying pool soon. So you're buying golds. That's bad. Because you're, uh, Scrying pools are not going to hit. All right. Boom, I'm doing well here. Nice. Going to deny me the sanctuary. Probably. Sure, I'll take it. matter. So now, how many of these do I want to use up? Probably a lot of them. Oh, golds are the only way to get money anyway. So, I'm going to use them up. I'll be buying commerce, and I'll buy a bunch of differently named things. Alright. So, my opponent was correct in doing that. So I have five buys. I want a sanctuary... So I need that, so it's 10 left. 5, 6, 7, oh, that's only, that's different name. Silver, Pearl Diver. Even though silver's bad. Yeah. And then Commerce. Should I get a curse for the extra gold? Probably not. So I get 4 golds. Uh, yeah, should I just be going for provinces? No, I've got to go Duchy Duke. It's just more points. Oh, dang it, I missed the opportunity when I got those four golds. I have another effect for the stream. Whatever. I'll use that at another opportune moment. Alright. What you gonna deny? Discard that. We'll top deck that. And we'll bottom deck that. And we will discard that. And you will discard that. Nice. This is working out. And we will discard. You will top deck. Sanctuary. Get rid of the potion. Don't need it anymore. Alright. Duchy, Duchy Pearl Diver. Because Pearl Divers can be picked up by these, and then you draw a different card with it. Bit of a hack. Alright. Obviously that. Yeah, the game's gonna end soon. Or maybe not, because... Who's going to buy sanctuaries, you know? Duchies will probably run. Two piles are out already, so when three are done, game over. Duchies are probably going to run out, so i got to keep buying duchies, but get dukes at the right moment. I've got two duchies. you got zero. So that's nice. You're about to get two duchies, probably. Or a province, if you're dumb. Yep. And maybe an estate or a pearl diver. Yep, thank you, thank you. Maybe I can end the game if I get lucky. Um, top deck that, top deck that, deck 
that. Bottom deck. Oh, you're gonna have to give me one scrying pool. Are you gonna give me two? Is the question. Probably just one. You probably deny one. No, you gave me two. Wow. That was crazy. Two buys. Dang it. Probably just buy two provinces. Yeah, Duke is not going to be worth it. I'll just buy two duchies. I'll just buy two duchies. It'll be great. I'm already so far ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Yep. It's about to be GG's. Then I can unleash the effect. If I just buy four more duchies, I win. Easier said than done. But also, if I start getting behind on points, I'll buy Dukes, because they're worth four. So. Ooh. Haunted Woods. That's fine. That one, i got to put my cards back. But I got Sanctuary, so I'll exile this duchy. I'll be good. Okay, what did you make me? Top deck? Copper. So I'll just do this first. Okay. I'm actually discarding the gold. Yes, it was worth it. Top deck that, you top deck that, boom boom. Keep that on the bottom, it doesn't matter. Top deck that, you top deck that, boom boom. Discard. Okay. Two duchies? Duchy Duke? Duchy Duke. That's worth a lot of points. You can't really catch up and buy both duchies. I can probably buy both duchies on this turn. We'll see. But yeah, I had to top deck um, a duchy because of this Haunted Woods effect. So now this is in my hand, which is annoying. Yeah, I should have bought a Haunted Woods. Because I have one terminal I could play per turn. Man, my ear is so itchy. Sorry. Alright, here we go. So I've got six duchies. So dukes are worth six for me. You've only got one province. Nothing else. Or do you have duchies? You might have one duchy. I don't even know. Yeah, you have one duchy. So I have five duchies. Okay. Whatever. You can buy two duchies, but that won't win you the game. Um, so you'd probably just buy a province duchy. That'd be bad, because I could just buy a duchy and end the game. So you probably want to buy an estate, or two estates instead. Or a duke, which is not worth anything for you. It's worth one point. All right. I just gotta buy a duchy. Top deck that. Top deck that. Yes. Discard that. Top deck that. Um, I don't have enough yet. Top deck that. Discard that. Top deck. Top deck that, we'll get the gold. Oops, <laughs> whatever, it doesn't matter. Meant to exile, not the friggin' thing, but whatever. GG. There we go. <laughs> what did you think of that? What if it did matter? Yeah, sometimes that happens when you're like, alright, I'm good, I'm good, I'm playing. Oh, I just threw the game. Alright, well, I gotta go to this Halloween parade.
Uh, I don't know if anyone there will know what Tintin is, but uh, but yeah. In case you don't, this is Captain Haddock. Boom. Got the drip. This was fun fact. I'll find the image. My Halloween costume years ago. Like the same actual costume when I was a kid. It was way too big. So I had the future in mind. Actually, I did not. I just got lucky. Um, attic. At JPG. Boom. Fun fact. <laughs> I think it's a different shirt. Yeah, it's a different shirt. But I couldn't find that shirt, so I'm, uh, I'm rocking this one. It's off center or something. There, I just rotate it. There we go. Not too far. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know, uh, it's not as thick of lines, but whatever. Now I do have the bottle. It's, uh, sparkling water. Or sparkling juice, but... <laughs> Alright. That's it. Uh, wait, I gotta... Ah, I can just close that. That's it. Stream is uh, over. Uh, and oh shoot! Uh, before I end the stream, I got to update the stream ending thing because it's the song there. Shoot! One second. Hold on! Don't leave yet. <laughs> Media source. We'll do it live. Uh, next class. Song. Uh, that one. Is stuff playing yet? No, good, good, good. Project, okay. Okay. Remaster. That one. Okay, and then this one we'll get rid of. Uh, yes. Alright. It's not gonna have the image, but whatever. Transition! Alright, bye! Thanks for coming to the stream.